Sticking with countries that speak Spanish, we go from uh, Spain to Argentina and the Bueri circuit. It's a circuit that was modified fairly recently, actually. Uh, the first two corners were a lot tighter before, and the final sector was a lot less technical. Crucially, though, it's still speedy. How speedy is it? Let's find out with an onboard lap. So, just approaching the final corner, which is a bit of a strange final corner, actually. Double apex and dips away suddenly, but you need a good run to start this lap for the first corner, which is a fast left. A lot faster than the previous variant, and a fast right as well. Medium left, very long. Quick first couple of corners into a long hairpin left. Medium left, according to the co driver, but it's 180 degrees, so he classed that as a hairpin. And not getting the line right at the exit there, that's going to cost him left-hand kink before the right at turn five and the end of the first sector so into a very very long left-hander approaching 200 kilometers an hour yep he hits it no problem there goes over a crest 200 again over another crest 200 again into turn seven the right-hander long long right-hander sort of gets a bit tighter on the exit into another hairpin left which is a medium left, according to the co-driver. Also notice how the co-driver says medium left opens. That very rarely happens in V-Rally. Now into a series of kinks, and one of them dips away suddenly, and he hits a tree and nearly flips it altogether. Now into the final few corners, to the double apex left hand. Let's see how it tackles this. Very wide on the first apex, but good second apex, and he finishes a very hot lap, and a perfect 360. Well, I say a hot lap, the records are 1 minute 11.25 and I just did a lap time over 2 seconds slower than that. Now a lot of that will have been down to the exit of turn 3 which we are just about to see here. As you can see, just ran wide and hit the embankment and with the uphill section following, lost a lot of momentum as a result. And turn 11 was a bit scary as well, got distracted by a bush and hit the wall that immediately followed the bush. Lost a bit of speed there, but a lot of the lap time loss was down to turn three. So that is Bueri on gravel roads of Argentina. Next we head to Monte Carlo and to a very, very fast circuit. Stay tuned and see you soon.